Hi there, Lee Griggs Arnold, Rendering Specialist at Autodesk. And I just want to go through how I rendered this scene here using paint effects and motion blur. You could also use splines, curves, bifrost, or any other similar technique. Okay, so if we open up the content browser, which is under Windows, generally just says content browser. Under sculpting base meshes, bipeds as a basic head. Just double click on that. Now we need to just create our paint effects. So the paint effects is a fun folder and I like the swirl large, so just double click on that. However, if it was to paint in the viewport, it would get something like this, which we don't want. We want to paint directly on the head. So what we need to do is select the head model and then under generate, select make paintable. Now when we paint on the head, it should stick to the head. So that's one way of doing it. Another way is I'm going to connect a paint effect stroke to a curve. So if you create a circle, so a nerve primitive circle, just scale that up. So it fits around the head. And then with the brush selected, go to generate curve utilities, attach brushed curves. And then in the attribute editor, just increase the global scale. You can just start to see the paint effects brush on the sticking to the curve. Okay, so for the paint effects to render in Arnold, we first need to convert it to a polygon mesh. So under modify, convert paint effects to polygons. You could also use curves, but in this instance, we're gonna use polygons. And then I'm gonna assign a standard surface to the paint effects geometry. And then just increase the emission to something like 10. So we're going to use this shader to emit light using emission to light the head model. Okay, so let's select an Arnold renderer. And I'm just going to make sure we're rendering on GPU. So under system tab, just switch to GPU. And then to reduce the noise, just increase the camera A samples to something like 10. Okay, so next we need to add some animation to the, to the paint effects curve. So select the paint effects stroke. And we go to the swirl large and all the way down to behavior uh, turbulence, just change the turbulence type and increase the, the amount of turbulence to something like six and just set a key so that it uh, works. And under the task slider, just drag across and you should see the paint effects moving. I might try something like world displacement. There we go. It's a bit more obvious now. So the next step is to enable motion blur. So under render settings, motion blur, just enable that. And we're going to have to use the Arnold render view because motion blur isn't supported in the viewport currently. And we're going to increase the length to something like 20. Quite a large amount. As you can see, the motion blur length here is reacting to the turbulence of the paint effects brush. Now it's a matter of just fine tuning the effect. So under the emission color, paint effects stroke, I'm going to add a ramp to the emission color. Get some color in there. Just change this to white. Add some red and some blue. So now it's a matter of just tweaking some of the paint effects stroke settings. So we could perhaps try different turbulence types. Local force, local displacement. Could always rotate the circle round, maybe just feel free to experiment. Maybe the stroke is the paint fix brush is a bit dense, so we can always lower the dense sample density. Maybe 
Maybe change the width scale. Point two. We try a different turbulence type, something like grass wind. Increase the sample density again. Get some interesting effects. Possibilities are endless. We increase the turbulence. Exaggerate the effect. Now to reduce the noise, we can increase the number of camera A samples. However, because the effect is so extreme that might only get you so far. So this would be a good case for using adaptive sampling. So producing the camera and then enabling adaptive and just increasing that something high value like 50. Okay, so finally added an image of lens effect just to get some bloom and the final result. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.